You all hear that? Yo, I feel like I'm back in the projects. So before we get started on the vlog, I want to give a huge thank you to Shein. Shein, thank you so much for sponsoring this part of the video. I have a whole bunch of dresses right here to try on for you guys. Shein is having a wedding campaign season and these dresses are so beautiful. I got to choose some beautiful pieces. So ladies, you might be getting married or you might be a guest at a wedding. So these dresses are perfect for you to wear or even if you want to go out or maybe for a bachelorette party if you want to see what i got from shein these beautiful dresses please continue to watch so here's the first dress this is a sequin baby pink belted dress it's kind of mini on me for reference on 5a but i love the way this dress looks and feels on the skin it is beautiful. It has flowy sleeves, as you can see. It's belted on the side. I think this is beyond gorgeous. The color I chose is baby pink. It comes in, I think, six different colors. The fabric is excellent. It's true to size. I think I'm going to get this dress in another color. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I just don't know where I'm going to wear it to, but I'm definitely going to wear this dress. It is so pretty. Um, you can wear this for New Year's Eve, again, for a wedding party, a bachelorette party, if you want to go out with your boo. And here I am a little closer so you can see how pretty the sequence looks against this dress. It is so pretty, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this gorgeous baby pink sequin dress. This next dress is also a sequin dress. I got, got it in the color hot pink. It is so beautiful. But let me tell you, the camera's not doing justice. This is a bright hot pink in person. It's so pretty. As you can see, it has a zipper in the back, adjustable straps. It feels super nice against the skin, just like the dress before this one. It has a great lining, and so it doesn't make your skin feel itchy. It has a split in the middle, not too revealing, but still sexy it's super stretchy so you can size down if you like i love this dress as you can see the sequin is so pretty there i am showing the top part of the dress again the camera's not doing justice guys it is so nice i think i'm gonna wear this dress my wedding anniversary is coming up in a couple of weeks and yeah i'm gonna wear it for that day girl this next dress is an off the shoulder french hem bodycon dress it's so pretty. Look at the color. I think this comes in two colors, blue and green. This is like a Bottega green. It's so pretty. It shows a little bit of my side boob, and I think it's because I couldn't get the zipper up all the way. I was trying to do this, but it was giving me a little bit of problem. But if you have help, I'm sure it will go all the way up, of course. Um, I would definitely wear this to a party especially a wedding party you're dancing with your boo he's spinning you round and round and those fringes are flying all over the place you'll be a showstopper with this dress as well i would definitely pair this with some gold accessories gold heels gold jewelry yeah guys this is a gorgeous dress let me know what you guys think This next dress is the Plus Sweetheart Neck Draped Side Mermaid Hem Formal Lace Dress. I think this dress is absolutely beautiful. It comes in six different colors. I got the 0XL, which is a 12. This dress is also super stretchy. As you can see, it has a split. It is so cute. It's very long. It fits me perfectly lengthwise. It's form-fitting. I think this dress will look great on the mother of the groom. Yeah, it's, it's so pretty. I would wear this at a wedding. For a wedding, I should say. I'm sorry. I will wear this if I was going to a banquet. Look how pretty this dress is. The lining inside this dress is super soft. The dress does not feel heavy at all. It's super light. I absolutely love it. This beautiful neck lace bodycon dress, I got it in the color burgundy. It comes in six different colors, guys. Look how beautiful this dress fits. It's form-fitting. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It's super soft against the skin. It's above the knee. Well, for me, it's above the knee. Like the perfect, you know, um, length for me. <laughs> Again, I love it. The lace feels 
super, super soft. It's super stretchy. It's true to size. I would wear this to a wedding, of course, or to a bachelorette party. It shows off your curves. It feels good. I, you can dance all night in this dress. Ooh, -wee, this is my favorite dress. This is the off-the-shoulder rouge sequin body contrast. Guys, this dress is stunning. Y'all hear me? Stunning with a capital S. This dress is beautiful. I got the color silver. The shoulders, as you can see, I'm trying to adjust them. They really go off the shoulder. If you go on Shein's website and see the model, the model is wearing the um, top part of the dress off the shoulders. But I think you can wear it this way too. This dress is form-fitting. It has a zipper in the back. I got a 1XL. It fits so comfortably. Form-fitting. Beautiful. I would wear this to a wedding because it's silver. It's not really white. I don't like wearing white to a wedding because I think the bride should always wear white, not the guest. That's just my opinion. But it's so pretty. I love it. Diesel saw me with this dress on. And he was like, oh, it looks so nice with your white hair. I'm like, I know. But the dress is gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. So let me know what you thought about these dresses. Which one was your favorite? If you plan on getting one of these, do you have a wedding to go to, a bachelorette party to go to? I will have a discount code down below for you guys. Please let me know what your thoughts are on these dresses. Again, thank you to Shein for sponsoring this part of the video. Now on to the vlog. Good morning. They're shooting again here. And I wanted to know... And I wanted to see, well, see, I wanted you guys to hear, but let me shut my car off. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're shooting. I don't know if they're shooting like they're target practicing. Do you hear that? It's like they're shooting cans or something. Y'all hear that? I don't like that because this is a... Yo, I feel like I'm back in the projects. I don't know what's going on. Who's doing the shooting? If they're practicing, if they're doing it behind their home, but I do not like it. What if one of those bullets ricochet into someone's home? There's a lot of kids that live out here. I don't know what the hell's going on, but anyway, it's still going on. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. It is Wednesday. I'm starting the new vlog off today. And um, by the way, my name is Nezzy. If you are new here, welcome to a new vlog. Please think about subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting on this video. I'm on my way to work and it's a beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, birdies. These little black vultures. I wanted to leave a little earlier today because I have to leave work early today to go pick up my mom who's visiting her brother in Leesburg. I know you guys are crooked. I'm sorry. I'm using this new, my new thing here. I like it. So I'm picking up my mom after work today. It's gonna take me an hour and a half to get to her. She's been with my uncle for a couple of days now. And yeah, she wants to come home today. And tomorrow I think she has an appointment that my sister has to take her to. Okay, let me try to beat this truck that's like racing down this road. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so hopefully there's no traffic after work. I uh, mentioned before in a couple of past vlogs that I am taking my husband on a surprise birthday trip and if y'all can guess where I am taking him to leave it in the comments down below whoever guesses you will get a gift whoever guesses right <laughs> but I can't tell you till the day of the trip of course because my husband watches my vlogs and he will not know until we get to the airport I wanted to go to Sephora so when we were in Lancaster, PA, well, no, when we went, we stopped at King of Prussia, PA, before we went back home on Sunday, before we went back to Jersey. And man, that mall, if y'all never been to King of Prussia Mall, that is a beautiful mall. They had 
Like one side was all high-end stores and the other side was like regular stores. Well, just one side was high-end stores and they had Gucci, Louis, um, Balenciaga. They had uh, Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi. Man, I tell you, one day I'll get there, one day. I went into um, Express and I saw a really cute short set outfit for vacation, but I said, you know what? Nezzy, you have a lot of stuff at home, so leave that. Leave that alone, so I did. But getting back to Sephora, I stopped at the Sephora. I actually just walked by because it was super crowded in that Sephora. I get 20% off. But I said to myself, do I need anything? I really don't. But the good thing is that you can get stuff and keep it you know like stuff that's so expensive like those um peeling pads that i get they're 75 dollars. i can always get one of those get 20 percent off and save it because i do use those almost every day and then there's a perfume i want that's pretty pricey and i figured i get that as well but do i need it no i don't can i go into a sephora and just look i can't my hand always grabs something and we're out the door you know after I paid for it of course it was so sweet last night she came over to the house and she um, she cooked dinner my dad actually made grilled chicken and she made rice and beans and she packed some lunch for me so this will be my entire meal for the day because it's kind of heavy I'm not probably gonna eat all that rice and beans but the chicken I'm gonna eat and a slice of avocado so I'm gonna have that for lunch and then you know like I said I'm gonna go pick up my mom by the time I get home it's late man I tell you last night when I got home, you would think Diesel and I had like six kids because I had so much laundry between Diesel and I. I did maybe five loads yesterday because I separate my clothes. I'm sure you guys do too. I separate my clothes and there's certain clothes I wash in delicate, you know, whites, colors, blah, blah, blah. So I did like four or five loads yesterday. I think I still have two more loads today and then I'm done. I can't stand a full laundry basket. I can't. Will I turn here? I think I turn here. Use the left lane to turn left on County Road 33. Hey guys, it is 547. I left work at 430. I'm on my way to pick up my mom. My uncle lives in Mayberry. He lives an hour and a half miles. away from US 27 North. us. I don't know what in his right mind made him move down here in Mayberry. It's not Mayberry, but it's Mayberry. So a rock just hit my window and I'm really upset because there was a truck, well not a truck, it was a pickup truck in front of me and I guess it rolled from behind his tire and it hit my window. And I, that has to be the crack. It's like on my lower left hand side it almost looks like bird dropping the clear one i hate to be i know it's a little um graphic but um anyway it looks like bird dropping but it's not i think that's the crack and when i get out the car i'm gonna have to look at it closely but i'm upset about it so in my last vlog i mentioned that frontier sucks let me tell you guys what happened okay so Diesel and I are TSA pre-check-in. We've been TSA pre-check-in for almost 10 years. And so if you don't know what TSA pre-check-in is, it's just where um, you go through the section where it says TSA pre-check-in. You don't have to take off your shoes or your jacket and it's kind of a faster line to go through TSA. So when I booked my trip with Frontier, I filled everything out first of all this is my second time flying with them i believe and that's not my first choice the reason why i chose frontier for this trip was because it was very inexpensive never again but anyway so i filled out all the information on frontier's website when i purchased the tickets i put my tsa number in i put diesel's tsa pre-checking number in and whatever so this happened last time when i went to see jenny so when i get to TSA I showed them my boarding pass on my iPhone and they're like you're not TSA pre-checking because they, they didn't put it on my boarding pass so the same thing happened again so I said you know what I told these will go through pre uh, TSA pre-checking and I'll just meet you there it wasn't crowded blah 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 so when I got to the gate going to Philly 
we were still in Tampa, I spoke to the I spoke to the girl at the um the agent and she said she fixed it for me. Next time I when I come back I wouldn't have a problem. I said, okay, cool. So something told me the day before we were flying back home to look again and I did. And on my boarding pass it didn't say TSA pre checking on and diesels. So um Mike brought us to the airport early enough anyway so I went to the ghetto ticket agents because that's what they were and I'm sorry Lord forgive me but that's what they were they were not dressed properly they they were just I mean their attitudes everything sucked I go to the guy he didn't know what I was talking about he kept telling me what's my not TSA pre-checking number he was asking me what my document number was. I said, what do you mean what document number? He didn't know, so he called a so-called supervisor. He wasn't a supervisor. And he just kept trying to push things in, um, punch things in. And then lastly, he says, after like five, 10 minutes trying, he goes, oh, this thing doesn't work and walked away. That's what he did. This thing doesn't work and walked away. Didn't say, well, you know, I'm sorry. Let me see, you know, if I can help you or get somebody higher than my position to help you, blah, 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 nothing. Well, these are almost lost his religion. And I told him, listen, the devil's a lie. We're not going to let anybody spoil the beautiful weekend we had. So, luckily, it was empty. The airport was empty. We went, I went through um, regular. Uh, thousand feet. Right. TSA, which I had to take off my shoes and, um, you know, my jacket and whatever. <sighs> Needless to say, I am never flying Frontier again. I don't care how cheap or inexpensive their airfare is. I'm sticking to JetBlue. That's my airline. I love JetBlue. I'm here by my uncles. Okay, the gate is open. Good. Hey, y'all. Happy Friday. It is... It's 2.27 p.m. I am working from home today. So, um, I believe last week or in the beginning of this vlog, I can't remember, I said I was not going to Sephora. I did say that, didn't I? Because I didn't need anything. But, but, hear me out. I went yesterday. So I went yesterday because Sephora only gives two sales throughout the year, spring and during the holidays. And you know, Sephora, if you are a Sephora lover, you guys know how some of their items are pricey. And this is a great time to re-up, repurchase, get something that you didn't have before that you wanted to try. Just to get it because... If you are a Rouge member like myself, you get 20% off. If you are a VIB, you get 15% off. And if you are a Beauty Insider, you get 15% off. And, and all of Sephora's collections is 30% off no matter what tier you're on. So with that being said, I secured the bag. I went after work yesterday. I went to the one in International Mall in Tampa. Now, the reason why I went to that one was because that mall, which I call the Bougie Mall, has a larger selection than the one near where I live at. So I decided to go there. I went there and I wasted my time because everything I wanted be in my basket so that when I got to Sephora, I know what I wanted and I wasn't gonna get anything more. They were out of stock on a lot of stuff so I was like you know what I gave my basket with some items that I already had in it and I said you know what I'm so sorry but I can't do this and the line was like from here to kingdom come I was like no 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 so I just went to the small Sephora where I live at so and I ordered two things online that the store didn't have because it was out of stock in both stores so I'll get to that in a second but I'm just gonna pull out I'm not gonna go in any specific order so the first thing I got was the Dr. Dennis Gross skincare, the peeling pads. I re-upped on this. Now, this is $92, but with a 20% off, I think it comes out to about $75, if I'm not mistaken. So I re-upped on that because I use these peeling pads every day, and I like the way this makes my skin feel and look. It's 
really good. They have different ones. I think they have one for sensitive skin as well, which I never knew that. I get the regular one, the Alpha Beta Peel. And they also have an extra strength one. Now, this is the one I always get. So this came out to, um, yeah, $73 from $92. So that's why I re-upped on this. The next thing I got, I also re-upped, is the Benefit Brow Pencil in the color 4.5. This is one of my favorite brow pencils. And I said, why not? So I got one of these. This is a new product. This is the One Size Secure the Sweat by Patrick Starr. The reason I got this was because I live in Florida. And I really don't like putting makeup on in the summer. But there's going to be times that I go out to dinner with my husband. Or I go out with the girls. Or I just want to do a video and look cute. Whatever the case might be. And yeah, I heard a lot of good things about this. It says Dry Till Dawn Primer. And... Yeah, it's mattifying, so who doesn't like a mattifying face, especially when it's hot outside? So I can't wait to try this. This is what the packaging looks like. And the cap was open. Let's see. Okay, but it's it's sealed. So this was loose, so it's sealed. So okay. I'm just reading the back. It says clinical results in a cons I can't see. And the print is so small. Okay, clinical results in a consumer perception study 94% agreed that they no longer sweat off makeup primer provides a long-lasting matte finish makeup stays locked in place I'll be the judge of that so I can't wait to try this okay I got a Huda Beauty cheeky tint and the color I got this was the last one they had to the, the color I got is coral cutie coral cutie and I love a coral blush for the summer so I picked this up I tested the tester on my I swatched the tester on my the back of my hands and I love the color I'm gonna open this up so you can see I don't really hear a lot of people talk about this one I had to look at my camera cuz I'm like am I recording okay I'm recording so yeah, I don't see a lot of people talk about this, but um, this is what the packaging looks like. Look at the color. This is such a pretty color. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is such a pretty color. I hope you can see the color. It's really nice. I like it. So I can't wait to try this out. The next thing I got was this sephora um again sephora all of sephora's collection is 30 percent off no matter what tier you're on so this is one of their sephora rouge lacquer lipsticks and i got the color dare to be it's a pink and you know what i have a feeling i have this already i hope i don't but i have a few of these and i love the way they make my lips feel and look <laughs> That's the color. Let me swatch it. My lighting is so bad, guys. I'm sorry. But that's the pink. I have a feeling I have this color. On to the next. The next thing I picked up. This is a re-up. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in Sweet Mouth. So I picked up another one because, again, why not? This is for a sale. I got 20% off. And the one I have in my drawer is running low this is the one I still have and so I got another one of these I love Fenty gloss bombs I think I have every color except the new chocolate one I'm not sure but I don't think I have that one so the um, Glossier boy brow and I heard a lot of good things about this one and I like this because the it's so small look I like this because the wand, well, the brow part of the brush, the brow brush part, it's really small. And it could get into my brow, so without probably going over or under my brow, you know, putting paint on it. So I can't wait to try this. The one I'm using currently is by um, Charlotte Tilbury, and I really like it. But, you know, us girls, guys, we like to use new products and try new products and so yeah so I got this as well I'll let you guys know how I like this 
Now this purchase that I got, I said I would never buy because I refuse to pay. I think this is $40 originally. Let me see. It's originally $40, but I got it for $32. And it is the Dior Attic Lip Glow Oil. I got the color um, pink. So I got this because my lips are always dry and I don't always have lipstick on my lips. And if I don't have anything on my lips, they are so drying and I'm always biting them and I'm like, oh. And if you guys remember, these are this is a couple of vlogs ago. I went into um, a Sephora and I wanted to try one of these and one of the girls that worked at Sephora introduced me to the Iconic Lip Oil. Now, that one is pretty good, but but it did dry my lips after the lip oil evaporated. It just left my lips really dry, but I did use the whole... I have like maybe that much left. It's in the other room. I don't feel like getting up, but I, I use it completely. So I'm glad I got my money's worth. It was, I think, only 15 Was it $15? I can't remember, but I used the whole thing. So, I see a lot of the girls talk about this one, so I picked it up. I said, let me try it. It was 20% off, so yeah, I'm not going to put it on now because I have on lipstick, but I can't wait to try and feel this one. And because of the lip applicator, I, you know, look how big this is. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. The last product I picked up is also a re-up. I picked up another way scalp and body scrub um in st bart's i have one in my shower right now again i got this because 20 percent off so i picked this up now the new shower gel and body lotion that comes with this that you can buy separately was sold out in all the stores so i ordered it online and i'm gonna wait for that i'm rude so i think it comes in two days but there's such a high demand on these products so it might take a little longer i'm not in a rush to get it because this is going to be for vacation well i use this here anyway but the lotion and the shower gel i want to take on vacation because have y'all smelled this this smells amazing this smells like vacation period so um Oh, I love it. This is what the texture looks like if you've never um, seen this before. And I love the way this feels on the skin. It's amazing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use it tonight. See if Diesel wants to rub my back with it. <laughs> I did test it out. In, not the shower gel, but the lotion. And I like the way it smells. Chelsea Janae here on YouTube mentioned that she didn't care for the lotion as well because it wasn't moisturizing. But, I mean, you know what? Just to take on vacation and just... Use this, the shower, well, use the shower gel, then this, and then the lotion, and then go out maybe to the beach or the poolside on a tropical island. Oh, you're going to be smelling like a coconut or like suntan lotion. It just smells really, really nice. If you haven't smelled this, go into Sephora and smell the tester out. So that's all I got from Sephora. You go into Sephora, you, well, at least let me speak for myself. I go into Sephora and I never ever leave that store without something in my hand. That's a shame, but it is what it is. I, I love Sephora. I have you on. Um, you got to try this cheese. You got to try Why are you? I'm... Yo, you got to try this cheese. I got to try what? I feel like bugs are on me. Why are you? There you go. Yerps. <laughs> What's happening? Hug me, honey. Yo. No, hug me. Uh, You smell good. You always smell good. She always <laughs> smells good. Yo. See, you got these winning people. Now you got me calling Mike. You left this door open. What? You left the door open. I didn't know. My bad. I got to so, so listen. Monterey Jack Camerized Onions. You got to try this. It's like, yo. I'm, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you taste it. And then I want you to tell me what Okay, let's go taste the mind. cheese. He's an onion person. <clears throat> Look at all this. I gotta clean all this mess. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna see what all the rave is about with this cheese. So, he got me some hoodle wings. Thank you, babe. Look. Three little wings. These my leftovers. You said these are for me. You can have them if you want them, but you ain't saying them. You said on the phone. If you want them, yes, you can have them. 
You see how he changed it? No, 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 no. Look how good you look. You lost weight, babe. I did? Yeah, you did. He looks really good. Yo, you gotta try this, man. Oh my God. Just try it. Okay, hold on. He got some stackers. Two, Not one. Bob won't get one. Bob oh, won't Bob get one. get one. One Dixie? No. Oh. Publix? But, yeah. And these who likes these string beans. Can. Oh my God. He loves these Thank seasoned you. Italian green beans. Change your life. All right. And this is the cheese. It's, by, it's boy's head. Oh, good. It looks like. What is it called? It's mon. It's camerized onion. Take the whole thing, Monterey Jack. Wait. Camerized. Ca ca Camerized. Cal Cal Caramelized. 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 Onions. Onion. Jack cheese. Monterey Jack. You got to get a full taste. You're just taking a dab like you ain't going. It's onions. It's got real onions in it. Man, but you're an onion lover. What does it taste like to you? Don't you tell like you like you eating White Castles? <laughs> I'm trying to You're tell right, you, You're right, yeah. <laughs> That's what I told the guy. I said, hold up. I said, stop the presses. Mm. Oh, my God. It's good. Very good. My boy would love this. Oh, you know what? This would taste good on a burger. Exactly. <laughs> Babe, you dropping the cheese. You fucked, right? Uh, right? So pick it up. <laughs> I got some stuff from Shein Home and Living, but um, they sent me this cute little container as a stackable container. I don't know if it's microwavable or dishwasher safe, but it's cute. It has two little chopsticks, it's stackable, and a little spoon. It's like full wood. It's cute. I would use this to store food away, but probably not to reheat, and it just puts on the sides. They also sent me this vegetable and, and um, I guess a vegetable slicer. This is what it looks like. Put, oopsies, there's other pieces mm. in there. A mandalay. A mandalay. Andale, andale, andale. Yeah. No, andale, andale. And then, you know, like you could put an uh, onion in there and, and it'll be in here. Oh, this is cute. And then this part, which I didn't know was sharp, I kind of grabbed it from the bottom and I kind of like poked myself. But anyway, they put my, they put my babies outside. I, I got some crackers for them. Oh, the, the cranes? Yeah. <laughs> On the, um, you put crackers for them? Cheat, cheat ones. I'm always dropping my headphones. I got this cute little um, tray on the <laughs> on the website. It looks so big, so I got this. But it's it's cute. It's small, and um, I'm gonna show you what he's doing. And I'm gonna put like maybe um, my jewelry or something. I'm gonna put this in my bedroom. Look at your boy feeding them creams. They come every day because Diesel feeds them. When you have a whole pack of, 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 of cranes here, babe, that's it, honey. Look at them, his babies. They love you. I bet they do. They said, Daddy, come feed us. <laughs> He's so hi, Daddy. I said, hi. <laughs> when, when Nancy and Nancy picked me up, we went to Ulta. Let me show you what I got. I got a little um, loofah for mama. I picked up, so when I went to Jersey and got my hair done, the girl that does my hair, she's a curly hair specialist and she uses Weed Up products, which is what I use here at home as well. But I was using the wrong shampoo. I was using the wrong one. It has the tan label. She told me to get this one. So I picked up the Weed Up Advanced Climate Control Deep Frizzing Shampoo. So I got the big one because I wash my hair a lot. I picked up this, got $10 off at Ulta. And then I got the small conditioner because I don't put a lot of conditioner in my hair. So I got the Weedock Curl Quencher Moisturizing Conditioner. I have the leave-in conditioner as well for this. This smells so good. I also picked up some Dermaplane to 
shave my face. I had one from Ulta that I changed the blade with it, but I just got these because these were like nine dollars. And I think how many come in here? Uh, twelve. And I think this was nine dollars at Ulta. That's all I got from Ulta. Then I went to the Puerto Rican restaurant at the crate. Remember, I showed you guys if you watch my vlogs. Me and my mother had um, octopus salad. So. What you said? That's not ill for me. Restaurant is called the Creacion Express. I was there a couple of weeks ago, so Nancy was buying dinner for her and her son, and I saw these pastries, and I says I got to have it for me and my boo. So these are guava glazed on top with cheese in the middle. These look so good. Rico, so this is gonna be our dessert. Hey guys, happy Saturday. I'm in a different setting. I'm in Diesel's truck. I'm gonna get my nephew and my sister. We are going to Oliver's Bike Shop. That's where Diesel and I got our bikes from. My nephew bought a bike and he wants to have them build it. And I believe my sister wants to get, I'm not sure if she's getting herself and her other two kids bikes as well. So I'm using Diesel's truck because you ain't putting a bike in my car. No sir, no ma'am. So he told me just take the truck. So that's what I'm doing. I feel like I'm so high and the camera's so low, but it is what it is. So phone call kept going into voice. Now it's ringing. Before when I was calling, I was going into voicemail. Hello. I'm outside. Okay, coming. Okay. Hey guys. It's 3.31, I came back home to return Diesel's truck, even though I could use it to finish my errands, but I came back to get my car, and um, I'm going now to pick up mom again, because I dropped her home, and I also dropped my dad, my parents were with me, with me, went and got my nephew's bike, my sister bought him a beautiful bike, pretty pricey, but I mean, the boys love riding their bikes. I love this lip oil guys I love it I love it I love it I love it I guess it's worth the pennies that I paid for it but yeah I like this a lot now I'm going back out to we're going to Target we're going to um, maybe Walmart and that's it. it's gonna rain my sister and the boys went to Bush Gardens my nephew bought a season pass he loves rides and all that stuff and so she and the boys went to Bush Gardens and I'm picking up my mom. I'm not sure if my niece is coming along. I haven't seen her. So hopefully she'll come. Dad is staying home. Yeah, I just got to pick up some stuff. Where is my eyeglass cleaner? Yeah, I saw these pair of pants that I want from Target. And I'm not sure if the Target I'm going to has it. But we are certainly going to try and see if they're there. I forgot to show you guys some sneakers I bought before I left on our couples retreat i got some new kicks again so i forgot to show you guys so i'm gonna show you when i get back home i hope i don't forget what kind of dance is he doing he just going off <laughs> he took off oh man well, let me show you my new kicks that's the box i gotta stand you guys up on this box because I don't have my stand for this camera because I switched between um, my car mount and the other thing so I had to move you guys I gotta get my niece's hair this is my niece's hair because I don't have black hair she was just here well earlier these are my new kicks guys isn't she a beaut the Jordan 11 retro lows I see blue bottoms, gray, love them, Carolina blue, I love them, I love my sneakers, there we go, okay, so I showed you my sneakers, I love them, I haven't tried them on yet, I know they fit because I have one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is my 10th pair of Jordan 11. My 10th pair of the Jordan 11. I love them. Okay, 
So I also went to Old Navy today. I had coupons. I had this cute swimsuit. My mom picked it out. It's um. This is the top. It's one shoulder. It has palm trees. It looks really cute on. I got a double X because this was the last one. An extra large would have fit perfect, but my mom said it didn't look bad on me, so I got this. And this is a double X, and the pan, the panty part, the bottom part is a medium. And this this fits perfect. So it was buy one get one fifty percent off with this. These are the bottoms of the swimsuit. Then I got this tube top. I got so many tube tops from Fashion Nova. And I got the pink. They didn't have any extra large, so I took a double X. And I hope it's not too big, but this is what it looks like. Let me try it on now. Hold on. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you know what? Let me see. Oh, this fits like actually perfect. Yeah, it fits perfect. If you can see. It's very comfortable. Yeah, so a, two, a 2X with this. For these two tubs, they have all different colors. I like this. And I like that it's long because the ones from Fashion Nova are a little more cropped. And I wore those when I lost weight. And no, I'm not wearing those now. But these are good. Maybe I'll go back and get more. Because I love tube tops. This was $14.99. And I bought this dress as well. Um, if you saw my last two vlogs ago when I did the Old Navy haul. I bought these cute little dresses. But this one is, is a little different. But it's almost the same. The only thing this has buttons and a little drawstring. But it's like a cute little sundress. And it has the big balloon sleeves. It is so cute. I tried on the white with the baby blue stripes going down. But I said, you know what? I want black. And this was um, the last one in my size. I got an extra large tall. Now, the other two I got are just slip-on dresses. They don't have buttons. and But these have buttons. And the drawstring. Here it is. The drawstring is right here. And um, those are just regular extra large. These came in extra large, tall, or petite. Monday, it is 2.19, and, and these just got back with some Hooter wings. I am so hungry. What went off on my computer? So I am, I just finished showering, getting ready. I washed my hair. I'm going to blow dry it. I'm going to let it air dry a little bit before I start blow drying it. I have my blower here, and when I'm done here... I am going to, I have to go out with mom. We have to go back to Old Navy. She wants to change the tank tops we got for her. She feels that they're too tight. They're not tight, but she's the type that likes her tank tops loose. I like mine fitted, so we're going to do that. I have to stop at Ulta because I have, I ordered the Weedod deep conditioner. I'm telling you, between my computer and my phone, they're just going off today. I did not take a lunch hour today because i just been busy working. I'm hungry. Mm. It's about to storm out. It started to rain. I hear the thunder. We need the rain. It hasn't rained here in a long time. I want to do my makeup too because if I do the sheen haul tonight, I want my face to look nice. So, so I'm going to do that. People want me to call them. I'll be back. I'm 
Yeah, in my mind is a warning Frank to the one you're relying I've been wondering all day Tried to be fine, but I can't be The noise in my mind wouldn't leave me Tried to get by, but I'm burning Let me hide, my mind is right All these thoughts are troubling me Starting to give up my pain Starting to be on my lane My mind, running to the other side And it's time to leave my life And it tried to take me out Tell you what I need Hey guys, I just finished my hair. I just have these pins on them because my hair falls to my face and it's annoying. So I just, you know, see, so I just have it pinned for now. I'm going to put a scarf on my head because it is raining outside. Well, it stopped raining, but it was pouring before and my hair will frizz up so anyway i'm gonna put a scarf on when i leave but um i just did um lip eyebrow and some mascara that's all i did i like this lip combo what do you guys think this is the buxom creamy chocolate lip liner and then i have the juvia's place um barely there and on top i have the fenty sweet mouth I like it. It's neutral. It's it's nice. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Do this haul. I was just watching Talitha Jane. If you don't watch her, you should follow her. This young girl, she's amazing. I, I love her. And she was, in her latest video, she was just mentioning, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, and she says, I have to do this spot. I have to do this sponsorship, and it's like 3 in the morning, and I really don't want to, but I'm going to do it because... She doesn't like turning in her videos late, so she said she was going to do it. And it was about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning when she finished. I'm like, oh my God, that's dedication. That is super dedication. So I'm going to come back home and probably film in this room. Yeah. And then I finally placed my first Timu order. I placed it yesterday, so I don't know how soon it will be here, but please stay tuned for that. And I'm also getting another Shein um, order that they're sending me, but that'll be in another week or so. I got an email that it was shipped, so I'm excited about that. Hi guys, so I'm back home. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Ulta. This is the Weed Out Coil Infusion Triple Treat Deep Conditioner. And this is what the girl used on my hair when I was in Jersey getting my hair done. So I picked this up from Ulta. It's really good. It is storming outside. Well, it stopped now, but the skies were so dark. Anyway, I just finished doing my Shein haul, so I hope you guys enjoy that. It's in the beginning of this video, as you saw already. Um, I'm going to end this vlog. Hope you guys enjoy this weekly vlog. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, we will see you in the next vlog. Until then, be safe, stay blessed. Adios. Peace.